Our next example is called uh, string slicing. Let me open uh, this uh, inside IDLE. Okay, so this is um, another um, example that we use um, uh, when uh, while covering Python strings. And uh, this subject uh, is about string slicing. String slicing is an extended version of index, which allows to use a range of characters that refers to a substring. If you think about individual character, it's just like one piece, uh, you know, the smallest part that you can extract from a string. Uh, but substrings could range from, you know, from uh, zero characters to more than one character. And it's uh, called uh, the technique, the idea um, in Python um, of a substring is produced by the technique uh, that is called slicing. It's using an index of the first character, a colon symbol, and an index of the last character. So here is an example of the string named demo. Uh, we say, okay, equals string slicing. Then we print uh, a substring which is in range from uh, zero to six. So zero is the index of the first character and six is um, a, uh, an index of the last character. And colon is a syntax that tells Python interpreter uh, that this is uh, right now is not uh, an index, but a slice, a slice of a string or substring. What is super important is that the first character is included in the resulted substring, but the last character is actually excluded. Okay, so this is why if you uh, if if we look at this uh, zero to six range, uh, we start with zero, so the first character is included, and then we go and specify the last uh, index to be used to generate a substring is six. So it's excluded. It becomes sort of like a, a, a stop sign where the um, collection of characters needs to, needs to stop. So this is why this is not included. So space is not included. So zero to six gives us uh, individual characters uh, with indices zero, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, it refers to this type of substring. So if we run this code, it will uh, print a string on our screen. So this is the way uh, Python slicing is indicated. And uh, the, the you know the tricky part of this is that uh, the last index is telling Python to end the substring before reaching the position of the last character. You may be wondering why is this the case with the last index right here, um, and uh, um, and why do we uh, keep the first character inclusive, but the last character or the ending of the slice is excluded? The answer to this question is that excluding the last character adds the flexibility of supporting empty substrings uh, when the first and the last indices uh, are uh, equal. In fact, if we specify zero, zero, uh, so we, we say that let's start with the first first character and end with the first character, which means that we just just we're about to start collecting characters and put together some sort of substring, but instantly uh, decided to stop. So the slice, the generated substring, uh, will be empty. And this is why you, uh, this is why if, if you run this demo, you will see that the result, is empty string. Uh, um, slice zero colon zero uh, gives us an empty string. Uh, likewise, if we try one one, right, it's just like starting at the position of the second uh, character in the string, but ending exactly there as well, or at some other position, or at some other position, and notice that our string is quite short, it's only 14, uh, uh, actually, um, um, yeah, it's 14 characters long, right? But at the same time, 
Uh, if you use this kind of range, it does not uh, generate runtime error uh, because it just um, notices that the, the starting position and the ending position is the same. So without any, any concern, uh, we can quickly, uh, our, our Python interpreter quickly is deciding that the, this slice should be an empty uh, slice. Uh, yeah, so, so even though uh, with individual indices, we always were given runtime error when uh, trying to use an index outside of uh, existing character range. Uh, here, unlike, uh, unlike uh, the individual index, uh, slice doesn't care. It just gives you uh, an empty, uh, empty string as a result. Okay, so then the next set of examples here, uh, we begin to use uh, non-empty uh, ranges, and we use this demo string, and we say from zero to one, uh, this should include only one character and return uh, the first uh, the first character in a string. So this returns back uh, just a string that contains one character in it. A zero two gives us this portion of the string, and that's that's the result. Okay. Um, now, uh, interestingly, if we try to play a little bit um, with the slices at the end of the string, which is sort of like uh, uh, you know, it uh, always in, it involves computation of indices. What are these indices? So we try something like thirteen to fourteen. So thirteen to fourteen, fourteen position fourteen. I use this kind of ruler above this above this uh, demo string that has two lines, right? So we have a range of uh, indices from zero to, to nine, and then this indicates index 10, 11, uh, 12, uh, 13, and 14. So position 14 is, is a position of, the, of a non-existing character, right? And yet if I try this range, uh, the interpreter is happy to start with character G and says, okay, let's stop at position 14, and there is no violation of anything. The slice uh, happily returns just a substring that contains the last character. And uh, again, if we try to go outside of the range of existing characters, the slicing kind of like um, without giving you um, error messages without interrupting the program um, execution will just stop at the end of the string and return as many characters as it can get. Uh, and uh, uh, that's just the behavior. So this is a, a little bit of difference, uh, what to expect when using an index and when using the slice. And the slice again is equivalent to a substring. Okay. And uh, if you try something kind of like wild 0 to 99, uh, this slice returns the entire string. It's, it, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, and, and um, you know, you can, you can use variables here, uh, which you can compute, uh, but in our demo code, we just use hardwired, hardcoded uh, values, but just be aware of it. It's, it's easy to have a slice that will return the entire string if the range is big enough. Uh, and uh, also a special synta uh, syntax allows us to, uh, to use to refer to uh, start or end of the string uh, without by omitting um, a, an actual index, right? So uh, nothing in front, in front of the colon sign uh, indicates that we are starting at the beginning. So without even bothering saying zero, you can just use this type of syntax saying uh, this uh, attempt to get a substring always starts at the beginning uh, of the string. And um, it's a convenience that makes interpretation of indices in your code, reading your program code a little bit easier. Right, it just gets easier when you see. Oh, there is nothing in front of the colon sign. That just simply means that we're starting at the beginning of the of the string and go as far as three. But remember, three is a stop sign, so we only include str. So not including i. Uh, the the position three is where we already stop collecting characters for our substring. Uh, likewise, another special uh, syntax involves when we omit using the, the last 
uh, uh, the, the, the last index, um, the stop sign, it means that we're just going to run through the entire, uh, you know, through the, through, the, through the rest of the string. So position number nine here um, indicates index nine refers to character I. And since here we just use this, this type of uh, slice syntax without like omitting the ending, it will return everything from position nine to the end of the string. So this returns us this uh, substring that says icing. And um, likewise, for the sake of completion, uh, the slice that omits both is not a violation of syntax. It will kind of return the entire string um, back uh, to you, right? But 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 of course, this is not uh, very practical. Uh, these, uh, uh, however, uh, these. Uh, uh, these types of special syntax for, for, for slicing are uh, much more uh, practical and quite useful because they make our code uh, more uh, readable, right? It's just easier to read um, when um, a certain part is omitted intentionally to indicate either start at the beginning or an end at the ending of the stream.